I definitely want to get something that's not denim. I just made a muslin for Nomi2083. I cut them off into shorts since I was just making a muslin. I didn't want to waste fabric. It will have a zipper over here on the side. The smallest size is a 10, so I did have to make a few adjustments, but I think I'm pretty happy with the fit. And this is how it looks in the back. So I think I can go ahead and confidently start sewing the pattern and putting everything together. This pattern is rated as average. The misses size goes from 10 to 18 and it does call for woven fabrics. In order to get the pattern to fit a little better on me, I did decide to fold 5 eighths of an inch of the pattern up and I taped it down. I did that on the front and then I also did the same thing on the back piece. I just folded up 5 eighths of an inch, taped it down. You do have a dart in the back. I also decided to scoop in the curve a little bit. So the pink line is where the size 10 was approximately and I ended up cutting the pattern on the size 12 curve line because it goes in a little bit deeper. I am also planning to shorten the strap piece just a little bit. So I measured the distance between the sizes and then I drew a new line here. So I'm just going to shorten the pattern here at this new pink line. I also moved the dot down the same way, just measured between and then made a new dot. The other change that I'm going to make is to shorten the bib and I did the same thing. I measured the distance between the sizes 10 and 12 and then I made a new line all around the pattern and I'm just going to cut on that new line just to shorten the front bib a little bit and the front bib is this front piece right here. Today I'm wearing this simplicity dress. I did lengthen the dress pattern. I added brown buttons and I also curved the hem on the side. And it is such a comfortable dress. I really, really like it. I don't think I'm going to add a pocket to the front bib. And I was trying to decide if I wanted to put back pockets on the jumpsuit. I may or may not. You will also need four buttons. There are two buttons that will go on the strap and then, or is it two, one strap? One button on each strap, I think that's how it goes. And then you also have two buttons in the back of the jumpsuit. The other thing that you will have are carriers for a belt to go through. I am not planning to add carriers on my jumpsuit either. The pattern says that you need two buttons for misses and two buttons for women's. In actuality you do need four buttons because you have one button on each strap so there are two straps and then you have two buttons that go in the back on the waistband area. I am stuck in traffic. It was moving just fine and then all of a sudden it just slowed down so I don't know what's going on but I am on my way to Sabres to see if I can find some fabric to make the jumpsuit in or the overalls and I think they are so so cute the pattern itself is so cute so I definitely want to get something that's not denim because I feel like I use denim a lot so I'm gonna look for something different and if I don't see anything at Sabres I'll probably go to Joanne Fabrics and take a look there and see if they have anything I was so thirsty I had three bottles of water and I finished them all and I forgot that I actually have two gift cards so we received some gift cards from a friend last week my husband and I he got something from someplace I forgot and I got Michaels and Joanne so yay that's cool so I may get to use these today well at least one of them the Joanne's one
these are some of the fabrics that are on clearance. I did see some gingham that I thought was cute, but I think I would want the checks to be like a little bit smaller. And I haven't gone up to the front yet, so I'll be going up there next to kind of look at the fabric that's not on clearance. What is this? Okay, butterflies. I think this cotton fabric is cute. I think it's cotton. Yes, it's 100% cotton. I think this is cute with the stripes. I love stripes. I have this cotton shirting in my cart. This will be different because I don't sew with a lot of prints. So I'm thinking about this and I'm still looking around. I am in the section that I love, denim. And I'm trying not to get denim, but I am so leaning towards it. Hmm. I have no idea what I'm gonna buy. No idea, but here are some of the denim pieces that they have in store. Here's some denim I've never seen before. It has little cherries on it. That's interesting. I ended up going to Hobby Lobby and I found a fabric that is like the perfect combination because it has denim in it and then it has fabric in it that's not denim. So I was like, oh yeah, I like this. This is the fabric. And I'm thinking this is new in Hobby Lobby, but I really like this. I did buy a separate piece of denim to go with this denim. Because it has the patchwork, it does have some seams already in here. And I thought that it may be kind of hard to get the gathers in that go around the ruffle if I use this fabric for the gathers. I can just see this little seam kind of getting in the way. So I was like, okay, I'll get a piece of solid denim and I'll use this for the ruffles. And I think I'm gonna also use this for the straps and the pocket lining. As I was cutting everything out, I realized I forgot to get an invisible zipper. But anyway, I am going to use this fabric for the straps instead of the solid fabric that I bought. And then I am gonna go ahead and add back pockets. I'm sewing with this light baby blue thread. I stitched the pocket facing on and then I did a little top stitching and this is how that thread is looking. This pattern does have a faux fly front. This is the center front line that is on the front pattern piece. I transferred this line over to my fabric. So this is the line here and it goes down to a notch. There's a notch right here. And then I made a mark 5 eighths of an inch away from the edge. So the stitching will be on this line from this 5 eighths of an inch mark and then up. Here are the front of the pants and then here are the back with the pockets. Here's a pocket and here is a pocket. And so now I'm going to put the right sides together and stitch the inseam down. I am really loving this fabric. I said I wanted something different and that is exactly what I got. I'm at Walmart looking at invisible zippers. I have a white and a navy in my hand and I think I'm gonna go ahead and go with the white. On second thought, I think I'm gonna go ahead and get the navy one too. And then I can go home and decide which one I want. I just came back from going out to look for a zipper so now that I'm home and I'm looking at the fabric and the two zippers together, the white and the blue, I think I'm going to go ahead and actually use the blue one. So I'm so glad I bought two of them. And since I didn't have any invisible zippers, it's okay that I have this extra one. I'll just keep it and I know I'll use it at some point. I just pinned the crotch seam together. Now I'm going to stitch from the back to the front and then after that, I will be stitching up the right side seam. The left side seam is going to be left open because that's gonna be where the invisible zipper will go. Okay, the pants part is all done. I like the way they're fitting. You can barely see the pockets in the back, but there they are. 
and they're very nice and comfortable they're not too loose not too tight so yeah i'm ready to go ahead and start working on the ruffle and the bib i have the ruffled piece gathered up and it's pinned to the bib i'm going to baste it down and then i will take the bib facing and stitch around all done with the basting and now i'm going to place this over the top i think it goes this way and i'm going to fold in the ruffles so that they will be in between here so i'm just going to do that all around make sure they're in and then i will pin this bib facing and then stitch all around just like that i've been trying to decide whether i wanted to use the lining for the straps or go ahead and stick with the fashion fabric which is what i actually cut out for the straps but now that i have it on i'm kind of thinking i'm gonna go with this one so i have enough fabric that i can go ahead and cut the straps out in this fabric because of the ruffles being in that same fabric so I'm just gonna keep the two together so it won't be like so much of a contrast between the yellow and the blue I'll just keep it together with the blue and the blue since I've decided to cut out some new straps I'm also going to widen the strap pattern by one inch I am almost finished I use wooden buttons and I just need to attach the strap and then hem So let me tell you about the fabric. So a fabric like this is called Madras and I just came from Hobby Lobby because I picked up some more and I got five yards of this fabric because I just love it so much. Going out to eat and I'm wearing my shorts for the very first time. I have them paired with a bodysuit and it's really hot today so I think these are going to be perfect. I beat my husband getting ready. He was like, I'm gonna get ready before you. I was like, uh-uh, I'll be ready before you. And sure enough, I'm ready before him. So I think I'm just gonna sit down here and wait for him to come on. I looked at the menu of the place they were going and I'm planning to get a falafel. And I've had a falafel before, but I wasn't too crazy about it. So I'm willing to give it another try because I hear people say that they're really good. So I'm hoping that what I get will be good because I'll be so disappointed if it's not. It's a little bit wrinkled. So, it's too wrinkled. It's kind of, yeah, a little bit. The shorts and the shirt? Mmm, it's mostly the shirt. <laughs> <laughs> you know, if you heard the iron, I know. So I'll put it on the board. Uh. But who beat you getting ready, though? Crickets, crickets. Mm-hmm. See, he didn't even want to admit it because he knew I beat him. They gave us some complimentary pickles, which were really good. I ordered some french fries and a falafel wrap, which I liked much better than my first go-round trying falafel. 